Hello YouTube, this is Ostas8. I am going to be showing you a video of the inside parts of a Acer Aspire 5315. It's Acer Aspire 5315 series. Let me get a flashlight. The surprising thing is, is that I have this light on and others. Let's see this again. Better. Five, three, one, five. Okay, first off, this is the hard drive. Don't let you get in my codes or anything. So I'm going to be blocking it. Okay, now from here, this area where I'm shining on, this area right here, underneath that is the hard drive. I mean, not the hard drive, but the processor. Processor is turned by a switch right there, and it unlocks these pieces. I was, these screws are just basically supporting it. The real thing that holds it in is the processor. It has some type of sticky glue that sticks to the top to this metal piece. So when you take it off, it'll be the processor is going to be stuck to it. Now, over here is the one gig RAM. Um. I'm actually going to upgrade and get two gig, two gigs soon. Now, over here is the vent port fan piece. Um, other parts, I have no clue what this big space is for. Still trying to learn that. But um, thing that curious to me was this little piece right here when I was um that little ball thing right there. That curious me because like it was bent and everything and I was like, oh no, it's gonna screw me over. So what I did is I fixed it. Now the fan should be right here, but it's not because I took it out. It's right there. Um this is the piece that goes on top of it. I got extra parts for sale if you guys need any. Um that's a one hundred. Now let me just go ahead and give you guys a this and that's supposed to be a review of my Acer computer. But it's a Barracuda um, 720.7 160 gigabyte Seagate hard drive. Um, model S the model number is a ST3 series. It's a driver it has driver jump settings. It, yes, it is. It's one of those old computer type of US uh, the port pieces for the ribbon cables and the power input. Um, this LED fan is not for sale. Everything else is. If you guys would like to buy a processor, it's an AMD Anthelon processor. It still works. It's in good condition. Um, I don't know what type of series it would be for it, but I know it's an AMD Anthelon processor. Uh, assembled in Malaysia, I guess. I don't really care if you guys need that or not. But then I also have a Intel processor. No, it's, uh, okay. It's a Intel Celeron processor. It has a flat-ended input series, so it's flat, not spiky like the other one. It's flat, and um. Yeah, it's got like, it's not corrosion, it's something, to, it's like an insulator to keep it from overheating, I guess. Um, I do have a part for sale, but it is broken. Um, it is a Western Digital W1600, WD1600 series. It's a serial ATA hard drive, 160 gigabytes. The thing that's wrong with it is that the hard drive is failing. If you're a company that wants to fix this back up and get it running again, it's got the new, uh, well, not technically new, it's got the expansion, it's got the ports like every other computer these days have. The little, um, it doesn't use like that old stuff, like the old, um, that old hard drive right there. It uses this. So I can plug in my, uh, Seagate one terabyte hard drive input piece right here 
because I just got this. This is a newest series. It is a um, it's this. Uh, crap. Anyways, it's a free agent GoFlex one terabyte hard drive, 3.0 um, 3.0 USB port piece. So I could plug that in and use it, but for some reason it does not work when I plug it into that. I'm guessing because it has to be into the inside of the computer and it's an internal hard drive, not an external. Okay, now back to my computer. Sorry for that, guys. I just had to um, do that. I haven't posted any videos on YouTube in a while. But, um, yeah, the hard drive in here. You get the RAM. And then, from the RAM, you have your processor, your fan, and then your CPU clock somewhere around here. I don't know if a laptop has a CPU clock or not. I'm not exactly sure. Now, I think this is the wireless adapter piece for the computer. But I'm not exactly sure. This is a Windows Vista computer. I actually upgraded it to Windows 7. This is the battery pack. Put it right here. There you go, it clicks. Okay, now I'm going to install the fan for you guys and show you. There's the fan. Sorry for the music in the background, if you can hear it. Okay, installing it now. It's actually very hard to do with one hand, guys. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, guys, I'm back. I actually uh, ended up installing that more and plugging this little cord in. It's the power input cable for the fan. Now, we use my little tool right here. There we go, I'm installing it. Okay, now from there, we can put on this piece, you, you can put it on differently if you want, further. but I'm also going to give a running review for this computer. They do not sell these computers anymore, this computer, I love it now, because it's not running Windows Vista anymore, it uh, actually runs Windows 7 very fast on Windows 7. Got my big ninja knife. Okay. Um, now this is the hardest part. See what you do is when you try to get these in, you gotta get the other side in at the same time. It's very hard to do. But I'm guessing it's for protection of the inside. Well, oh, this is a thin plastic, though. That's the thing. So, if you screw up, you're, you know, screwed. <laughs> That's what I like to say. But, um, there is one more thing I like to let you guys know that I like to sell. If you guys are interested, yes, I would put the stuff on eBay. But, you have to let me know if you want to buy it first before I put it on eBay and then I'll message you back. I have a Air Plus G um GWG 500 series um wireless LAN adapter. It's by D-Link. It's a little bit dusty, but it's good to go. It it's like brand new. It works perfectly. It um I will clean off the dust when I send it off. But I need to know if you guys want to buy it or not. Um. Oh, RAM sticks. Okay. Three, there's one different RAM stick. This one comes with this one right here. Comes from a Windows 98 computer. Windows 98. Great grandma's computer. Don't ask. Okay. These two. These two right here, they come from 
my Dell Dimension E310 computer. You can look that up on YouTube or Google, whatever, if you want to know what the computer looks like. It, run, it used to run Windows XP, now I run, have it on Ubuntu. And the same RAM came with this hard drive right here, the one that has the hard drive that's failing. That's why I've taken it apart. I'm selling these parts on eBay if you guys want them. Um, just let me know before I put them on eBay. I'm not putting them on eBay unless I actually know that you guys are going to buy them. Okay. Now, time for the running up setup. Okay. Just to give you guys a second to look at it. Here's the keyboard. And here's the power. Acer. I know it looks like it's really dark in here, but it's not. It is not at all. There we go. Go ahead and enter my... Okay. It's actually very bright out there. Okay. Voila. Runs very, runs very quickly. Runs way better than Windows. Uh, it's just because it's just booting. It's really slow. Once you very first start a program up, it opens up immediately again. Watch, I'll open up Google Chrome again. I just clicked on it. Okay, there you go. See? This is Google Chrome. I love it. Okay. iTunes program open. Let's see what we got here. Okay, wireless. Modio, Xbox 360 modding program. Voila. And no, I did not pause that. Here, I'll even show you again. I'll close it out. Okay. There you go. Voila. Okay, my entire iTunes library. Woo -hoo, yeah. It's very fast. Love Windows 7 on this computer. Don't if you ever do get an old computer that has it's exactly like this, you want to get Windows 7 on it. Okay, you have Windows Mini Center on it too. Whoa, I'm at thirteen minutes, so I guess I gotta let you guys go. Ooh. Hey, if there's any internship people that are watching this, like Dell, HP, Acer, or any of you guys, I would love to get an internship from you guys. Just hit me up on an email. I would love to do business with you guys, if you guys are watching this. Very geeky. <laughs> I'm a very computer guy. I love computers. I work with them, as you can tell. I'm very experienced with them. Not as experienced, but I actually learned all this on my own. Some of it from school, some of it not. Usually I learn from school, like binary code and stuff. But, as you can see, this is Windows 7. This is my Acer 5315 computer series. What it came with, it's a 160 gigabyte DDR2 processor and all that stuff you can just look it up on the internet it's Acer Aspire 5315 
Um, see you guys later. Comment, rate, subscribe. Please rate and comment. I'd love to hear some comments from you guys and think of what you think of my videos. And give me some tips on how I think I can make them better. If you want me to make them better, I'll bring better videos. And then I'll subscribe to you guys. That's how it works. We all work together on this, don't we?